vicious, but brilliant! I don't believe it! I swear I do not believe it! And they are back on terms! And that's what we're going to do for the next 15 20 minutes. So, that's we ain't got much to talk about this week. Uh, Ben's prepared a little Christmas quiz because little, only three it's questions. Christmas. Yeah, Ben suggested he's going to do a job and then did three questions. Only so. three questions. That's Ben for you, everybody. I think you should leave Ben alone and not pick on him. Personally. Yeah, I do, personally <laughs> as well. Thank you for anyone who ever said that. I can't remember who said it in, I think it was YouTube comments. Thank you for telling these two to stop picking them. <laughs> Appreciate it. Poor little Ben. Yeah. Um, do you want to do a quiz now? I'm not bothered. I could wait. I could go for it. Go else to speak about it. Oh, well, look, I'll try and think of something else to talk about. No worries. Uh, right. <clears throat> I've got two questions and a guest player. With the, with the guest player format, uh, yeah, uh, with the on. guest player format, I'm going to do. There's six questions, right? Right. There's six questions. Six clues. Uh, six clues, sorry. Uh, and if I'm going to. You're going to write a, a guest down each round. Right. Okay. You're gonna guess down. You're gonna show me, and you're not gonna say it out loud and give the other person a chance, right? And you're gonna show me, and I'm gonna tell you if it's right or not. Okay. And uh, that's a. If you get it on the si- if you get it on the first clue, you get six points. Second clue, fifth. Five oh, what I will say is that's a slight issue that you will not be able to read my handwriting. True, you write like a four-year-old, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen, right, the listen first you two... talk about people picking on you. Let's not start picking on four-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and if anybody gets these at home before us. You get a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you like. I give you a five pound note. What what I do if 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 it is <laughs> if it is if you are at home and you do get it before we do and you want a, a round of applause, if there is anybody there with you, I'd ask them. Yeah, <laughs> just you know. Yeah. Right, <clears throat> everybody ready? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, drop pen, or not, so Matt's throwing pens around the room. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the first question is: since the start of the o four o five season. How many Boxing Day games have we won? Well, that's really unfair. That's a really, really unfair question. Because, for two reasons, right? You know that I'm a right gimmer, and I can't remember <laughs> what I had for my breakfast this morning. And secondly, you know that Matt is just Mr. Statue. <laughs> isn't he? So, uh, are we, we're not writing these answers down, are we just going to... Um, no, you're writing them down so that you oh, can't, okay, each, can't give each other any advantage. Are we going to close this wins? No. I mean, I mean, it depends how far off you are. To be fair, so writing answers down is, is great audio. Isn't it? so it's it's, it's great video. Well, it's been well. 16, so we've had 16 boxing days in that time. We yeah, have. since the start of the 2000, so the 2000, 2004. 2004 boxing yeah. day was the first one you're going to count in. So yeah. I've written down my answer, Ben. Okay. Would you like me to show no, it here? Show it camera first. If well, you I want. can't show it camera because the camera's where Matt is and then you'll see my. Yeah, it's also, it's also an audio. Episode, Ben. Yeah. True, right, right. I didn't mean, my answer. Well, you got to let me right, know. Cool, my, yeah. oh, we said it like a four year old, you know, because Chris is like a four year old as well, apparently. <laughs> this, this is a very, very tough question. Go on. <laughs> you got it, ready? I've written a number down. Ready? Yep. Right, what's your, what have you put, Matt? Mick? Uh, six. For six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't do closest wins then. Is can it six? We? It's eight. Oh, I said seven, sorry. Eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, no point for you then. Well, can I just say that my six looks more like an eight than his six? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> no, maybe not. Right. <clears throat> Next question is I might split this into two. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I'm going to split this into two. In the last seven years, right, we've been in the championship four times. Yeah. What's our highest points tally? Closest wins. Okay. I got a decent enough guess. Highest. Closest wins. We're well, not highest wins. <laughs> <laughs> One million. <laughs> <laughs> highest wins. <laughs> Go on then. Um, Who's first? Have you written one down there? I've written one down, yeah. What have you put, Matt? 49. What have you put? 44. 49. Uh, I knew we'd get it right. We, we were always uh, going to get it right, weren't we? Well, we stopped up a couple of times, so we can't. We got a 44 all them times. No, that's fair comment, yeah. Did we stop? Have we stopped up in championship? Uh, that Warnock season. All right. uh, that must have been the last four championship uh, seasons. Am I on the right podcast? Uh, I doubt it. Probably not. Right, another question is, when we got horribly relegated, mm. and we got 23 points... I thought it was a question. What was our goal difference? Oh, God. Is it in double figures or triple? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, you're right. So it's got to be a minus, hasn't it? 
Really? <laughs> go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. He baby closes wins. Is that I'm I have got two in my head and I think I've got my mind set on one. I think Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's two between, so if we, we'll see whoever gets it. What you don't know the answer? I do know the answer. Right, what have we put? Forty nine. Minus, minus forty nine. What have you put? I put minus twenty seven. Minus twenty with minus fifty one. I was not far off with 49. Yeah, you were you? You're right, Mick. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, we're just were trying you, to be nice. sleeping that season. Do you, do you remember how bad that season was? I don't remember, like I said earlier on, I don't even remember what I had for my breakfast this morning. So that it's not going to help, is it? That? It was one of the worst seasons I can remember, and we've had some crap seasons. Yeah, 23 yeah. points we got. Yeah, it was a shocker. It, I, I, I'll be fair, I don't think it was much, much more than that in 2000. Five, so like that one got really good Thing is, yeah. what I would say about that is, I think we won on Boxing Day that game. Oh no, did we lose? We lost. I think. No matter. Anyway, carry no on. Matter. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. Uh, <clears throat> right, one more question before I move on to uh, a guest. I thought you'd done three questions. Hey, Slayer. It's, it's I've, I've, I've. All right. Sorry. Sorry. It all a bit. If that's all right, man. Is that right, you? I, well, yeah. I mean, the answer that. <laughs> I've got it on my phone. Um, you divvy. Yeah. Well, Can I borrow your phone a sec, Matt, please? Sh- shall we see what... Um... Do you want to ask the question while you Google right, it? Right, I will. Um, obviously, so I've said before, you guess our highest points tally is 49. Yeah. Which season did we get that? Right, okay, so that's... How does that help me? I guess. Uh, All right. Do you know, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my guest down here. You know what's gonna what's gonna happen, what the answer's gonna be. It's gonna be well, we weren't even in championship that season. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen, I can guarantee you. Oh no, it's not loaded. So I've got, I think I've got it. I've got a season. I'm got semi confident with it. I am I've got a season as well. I'm not even remotely confident. <laughs> um w- is this in the last seven seasons is he talking about again? Yeah, like, got it. So it's within that period, is it? Yeah. Right, okay. In the last seven years. So, Matt, you, will, you, you can go first, mate. 16, 17. Nick? What was the question again? What's, what season did we get the 49 points? Oh. oh that, think about it logically. Uh, yeah, I am thinking about, about it yeah. logically. And, and, and I don't know. 2014, 15. I think we're in League One, aren't you? I told you. Didn't I? It was no, fif- were we? It was 15, 16. 16, 17 was when we got horribly relegated. Well, really? Yeah. Yeah, because we were in the playoffs in 2018. There you go. Right, okay. Well, I can't think... Well, that, I did really well there, didn't I? Did I so get Matt, any points? Matt's on two. Good no, Mick, you're on a big fat zero. Well, there's a surprise. Right, guess the player, right? <clears throat> so I've mentioned before there's six clues. Is it a Rotherham player? Uh, you'll find out, won't you, pal? Anyway, um, I made six clues. So if you get it on the first one, uh, you get six points. Second one, five points. It must be a Rotherham Third player. one, four points. Otherwise, what are we doing? Yeah. Wait, maybe it was maybe Slav Close and you get it on the first one again, Matt. If anyone remembers <laughs> He's that. not bitter about that. Anyone at all. who remembers that, I spent half an hour doing a quiz and Matt got it on the first stupid question. Anyway, Should make it harder. It was, it was top goal scorer for Germany ever. I said he was born in Poland and Matt got it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well. I was kind of bummies, but whatever. <clears throat> the first clue is he is. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> is he Polish? No, he's 53 years old. <laughs> I've got to make it big on the first one, do you know what I mean? You want to write it down? Yeah, please. Ooh. One guess around. Uh, I've got a guess. I've got a guess. And have I got to show it you? Yeah. I'm showing Ben my piece of Go paper. On, then, that's not right. <laughs> I don't know what that says, <laughs> but it's definitely not the right answer. How do you know? Because it's not the right answer. It's Barnes with that second name? No. Barnsley. Oh! No. Okay. <laughs> I thought I thought we were going to get it then. Right, no one gets any points on that. What were quick? Uh, 53, yeah, right, okay. Second question, everybody at home as well. He made 414 professional footballing appearances and 162 for Rotherham. I think I'm a bit out with this one, but I don't know. No, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not him. No. Mm, how many? 144 for? 162 for them. 162 for Maybe 144. Oh, I don't know how many 144 in all, don't I? All right, go on. 
This is for four points. He played for Rotherham for six years. Yeah, well, or four I, I, years. I imagine no, four 100, years. 162 appearances he will have done. Now, this is a tough for this. Over four years or six years? Six years. He's older than me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking out loud now. He's I'm not gonna, older than you. Uh, older than you. Uh, well, I was going to say Ray Mountford. But obviously he's old. He's oh, old oh, right. Is he that keeper that we always go on about? That, well, I always go on about him, don't I? Yeah, you. Yeah, this is this is going to make for great audio. I think we might be able to cut some of this out afterwards. <laughs> we might have to edit it for the first time ever. Uh... Come on, come on! Easy, easy question. Nope, Matt guess is wrong. And Mick's got it right. Well done. So no, no, no. Oh. You've still got a chance to win. Well, he hasn't got a chance to win because yeah, I've got it right, so he can't no, the you've points. got No, you've got four points All right, okay. and Matt's on two, right? Okay. okay. So Matt needs to get it on this one to win, the next one to draw, yep. which would be a bit sticky because I ain't got a tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> or, and then, yeah, right. So next one. Yeah. I've just said this now, can't I? Yeah. Um, this is not making it easy for you. Right, yeah, it is. He has managed five teams in his career. Right, okay. So he played for us for a long time and now he's mm. managed some, several teams. Mm. You don't have to say finance straight away, you've got to think about it. I am going to he's think a about thinker, it. He's a thinker. Just nice thinker of the former Rotherham players. Mark Robbins. Nope, that, right. One more, I've got the next clue. <sighs> next clue, right? Yeah, go on. He's currently the manager of his former team. Or one of his former teams. One of his former team teams. So he, he played for yeah. this, he played for the team he's now managing. Very very yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on, this is your last get gotta get it right. Oh come on, Matt. I don't, come on, I Matt. don't think you know him, to be honest. Are um, you do- <laughs> 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 Well, the thing is, if I can talk him out again, the right yeah, answer here, then I win. Yeah, That'd be the first him, time I've ever won a quiz. You'll never get him. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be funny if you lost on a tie break. But it, I ain't got one. In so my life. I ain't got one. I ain't got one. So. I don't think I'm going to know. Kev Watson. Yes! Chris Wilder. Oh, I wouldn't. I never saw him play. I didn't. You know his manager and chef. You used to I'm play sorry. Before. Was one of the cute? Was one of the clues you've seen him play? <laughs> that heavily favours Mick. To be fair, no, he doesn't. Chris Wilder is one of the most well-known faces in football. So people who are listening and <laughs> have done this quiz, tweeters, Facebookers, what, what whatever last, social what media you yeah. want to. Well, well, next clue for everybody. Uh, so the next clue. You got on. Um, I actually skipped one. No, oh. I didn't. No, I didn't. It was the, the last clue was he played for 11 teams in his career, one of them being Sheffield United and Rotherham United. I've never got that. Not in a million years. Wow. I'm really surprised. And then, uh, yeah, I, I, I know he played for us and I'm aware he played for us, but it's not even in my sort of conscience. No. Yeah. In and then my, the, sort of front of my head. Uh, the final clue for zero points was he's now the Sheffield United manager. So. <laughs> I mean, I've got that. <laughs> 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 yeah, let me let us know how many points he got. Yeah, no, please no. do. That was, that was pretty impressive, that, Ben, because I, I'm amazed that Matt didn't get it. I really am. Really very surprised. It's um, a really good question for Matt not to get it. Me too. Well done. <laughs> I, I put my mic on the thing, so I put a bit mic down by accident. Yeah, it were. I'm sure it were, yeah. Completely by accident. So um, do you want a, what do you want as a celebration? You can't pay if you want. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Yeah, take that to Ben. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that... Uh, just about covers the Christmas episode. Yes. Uh, this should be much more interesting. This should be talking about football. Yeah. Uh, but we are a bit, st- a bit stuffed, really. Um, so apologies about that. Hopefully we are playing Boxing Day. You know, you know. hopefully we can come back next week and I've had a nice Christmas and we're talking about three points at Borough. But I think that's almost very, very likely. I, I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it happening at all. Yeah, cool. Um, some brief team news is that Warney said in his, his in an interview that Shawnee Mack's not far off. Mm-hmm. Uh, he should be back training in January, early January, and social Clark Robertson. Yes, which means well, Clark Robertson is a, is, a, is a head of schedule, which helps with the last back, left back situation. Ben, if Clark Robertson's fit, would you still dip into the market for a left hand sided player? Um, 
Yes, uh, because I'm an automatic out for, is it Feb, March? Two to three months? Yes, March, February, whatever. Probably April, I had to be honest. March, April, that's how. So, yeah, got Clark, like you said. Robertson can't really play the position he on can, the left. He, he can't can play be, left back. He can't Maybe play left yeah, wing back. Right wing, left wing back, like you said, I don't really want Wiles there. He'll do a job if I have to. If it's, like, if it's easier to bring in a centre midfielder, a good centre midfielder, than it is mm-hmm. a left side, being a, left side uh, being a centre midfielder. Uh, but, you know, if, you know, if there's a good left sided player on the market and he, he likes him, he's got the right attitude, then why not? I think he should, yeah. Yeah, I think he's right. I, initially, my thought when you asked that question was no. <laughs> my initial thought was I'd, I'd bring Curtis Tilt back, mm. which gives us a, an embarrassment to riches on the left hand side of defence in my head yeah. initially. But then when you look at the fact that we've been playing that three five two five three two formation, neither Curtis Tilt that we're aware of fits <laughs> that bill. I mean, he might do. I don't know. I don't know how quick he is. Yeah, uh, he's a big boot, isn't he? Yeah, Honestly. certainly Clark Robertson don't fit that bill, so, so yeah, I suppose he's got to, has he? Yeah, uh, and Tilt has been playing a lot, I've just sort of looked in, the, in midweek, he's consistently playing. Good. Um, in, in not a successful team, but it doesn't really matter if he's getting game, game time. time isn't it? Uh, that's key. Um, so, anything else you want to quickly cover you can think of before we uh, wrap oh. up for Christmas? No, sure, there will be, we always try and wrap up and then spill Well, out. I was going to mention that Mix. Um, Got almost a green light from Mumble for the Accrington update. Yes, so uh, hopefully she'll be with us next week. I've been in touch with him. Uh, I've left it up to him to give me a time when he's available. Um, there's no cricket over the Christmas break, which there often is. So um, no England cricket, I don't think anyway. No January, and, and certainly none that he's been commentating on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll uh, we'll be able to get that special out sometime. Well, whenever he's available, but fingers crossed, I'd like to see if we could do it between Christmas and New Year and get that out, um, both for us. And also for Accrington fans as well. I mean, I don't know whether they'll listen to our... Well, they won't listen to our podcast, but <laughs> I think they certainly listened to the last one that we did with him. I don't know what contact they have with the club, but usually pr- quite a lot, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's always nice to get a different perspective in it, so... Yeah, definitely. Um, so we're back early next week with one thing or another, even if it's just an up- just to talk about the update from the yeah, club, or whether it's to preview the Barnsley game. If there's not to talk about, I might do a little another quiz again. So if people enjoyed it if, yeah it depends if people enjoyed it let start, me know. we start getting hate mail about your quiz for picking something that nobody's ever heard of <laughs> no <one's> ever, <laughs> yeah come yeah, Premier League man yeah no one's ever heard of him has he? god well you said manager he's not doing a great job at the moment no, no. Like second season fingers great. crossed they'll, uh, they'll pull it around yeah don't care yeah <laughs> I don't really um, so yeah that's the that's the planned schedule but that may obviously change uh, due to one thing or another so thank you everybody for listening um, who has listened throughout the year uh, and since we started oh one more thing as well oh here we um, go <laughs> <laughs> this is 10 days 10 days ago it was uh, our first oh, birthday as a I podcast ju- I was just about to say that oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> thanks for ruining that Ben <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry my phone has gone uh, so, so uh, shall I start that again yeah yeah go on then so thanks everyone who has listened throughout the year uh, over the past 12 months or so it's, it's just over a year now since we started doing these and just under a year since Mick and Ben started doing it with us as well uh, we could not have picked a worse possible time to do a football podcast to start doing a football podcast when you know we can't go to the games um, but it's kept us sort of talking to each other a bit more um, and hopefully you've enjoyed listening to three idiots talking about <laughs> something um, it's what we love in it. We you know we, I could talk about football a lot, but I could talk about Rotherham United all year because yeah. it's our club. It's what we, it's what we all know. It's what we all love, um, and that's why we're doing it. That's why I hope. That's why clearly why you're listening. If you listen to this and you don't like don't love Rotherham United, I, I don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> no, there's plenty of other podcasts available from other suppliers, which you know it's like it's like uh, a bit of product placement there, isn't it? You know. Mm. You know, other other pens are available, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, the, yeah. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Uh, we get some fantastic comments, uh, really heartwarming comments from yeah. some people in relation to um, you know the, the the podcast that we're doing. It really, it is just a bit of a laugh, ultimately, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? You know, so uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, thanks for letting us. Uh into your homes I suppose Ben anything you want to add uh, no just thanks for the heartwarming messages it does mean a lot to know that someone's you know 
because <laughs> people who don't do it will understand that we're just speaking to a microphone and put it out, you know what I mean? We don't actually watch people listen to it, so it is nice to you know that someone's listening and you know, them heartwarming messages do mean a lot. Did what? you say we don't actually watch people <laughs> listen to it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you know how weird that sounds? <laughs> no, yeah, but we don't actually get to see people's feedback and reactions. So it is nice to know that right. someone's watching. Okay. Could we just speaking into a screen? Do you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, just be a bit creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody who's listening to this, Ben could be over his shoulder <laughs> right now. He's not a stalker. Yeah. He's definitely <laughs> not a stalker. I can guarantee <laughs> you that. <laughs> With binoculars. <laughs> Yeah, um, as I was saying, yeah, sorry, you made um, me cry. It is, <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is nice to get their messages. We have, I have had a few. Definitely. We have had one of the recent uh, YouTube video. Um, <laughs> one of the recent so, YouTube yeah, yeah, video, and uh, you know, it did mean a lot. Um, it does mean a lot. So if you do enjoy it, let us know. Cause it does mean a lot. Yeah, thank you. And there's plenty of re- reviews on YouTube. No, not YouTube, iTunes, uh, which are great and all. Keep them flooding in because. Uh, yeah. That's cool. And like I said, we'll, well, next year the well, plan is yeah. to keep this going. What? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on then. No, one, go more on, thing on, I would say, one more thing I would say, obviously, we talked about, you know, the second lockdown, it is hard on people. So, uh, you know, if, you ain't, if you're feeling down or, you know, a bit of a plug here, um, but if you are feeling down, you know, just listen to my old podcast, you know, if they cheer you up, listen to the Greatest Eleven because it does help out and, you know, it might make you feel a bit, a bit better. You never know. That's very sweet of you to say, Ben. Uh, yeah, the, I've got the Greatest Eleven from last summer, which is, uh, I think, well worth a listen. Yeah. Uh, and the Greatest Games, we did loads of Greatest Games from last summer as well to fill the to fill the void. Uh, the plan next year is to keep going as we are, um, still Saturday, so Monday, Monday Thursday, uh, and we'll obviously try and get some more former players as well. We had an Alfie in November, December, whatever, mm. whenever it was. Uh, the plan is to get a few more to kill the time during the international breaks, and obviously the summer as well. Um, Might that, do a yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do you want to wrap uh, up? No, <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, no, it doesn't matter. No, go on. No, you've to me now. No, it doesn't matter. Well, I, I was going to say, even if we do, we, we won't. We might not take a little bit of it somewhere, but if we do, we'll be doing a Euro special probably thing on the Northern Monkeys podcast. If everyone wants to, listen to that, yeah, in the summer, yeah, we'll we'll change over to. To that, yeah. um, but a lot can change between now and then. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. it might not even go ahead. Yeah, you know. Exactly, I mean? exactly. Um, so to sum up, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody, and uh, tell your friends if they're Millers as well. Uh, if, they're, if they're not Millers fans, you shouldn't be friends with them. Uh, <laughs> it's a fact, <laughs> you know. Uh, so we will see you all next week. It's not last show of the year. But next year for the last show, if we haven't got a game, we might do some highlights of the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, there's not been many. Um, <laughs> But thank you, and we will see you all. Thank you, Mick, and thank you, Ben. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll do that quickly because we're rambling on again. And we will see you all again, hopefully, next week. Cheers, guys. I hate long goodbyes. And Pringle, looking towards Agard. Ravel, ambitious, but brilliant! I don't believe it! I swear!